hey guys, so today I wanted to give you some tips for uneven facial features and how to fix them or make them look a little bit more even using makeup. So in a similar vein to my hooded eye video, uh, makeup for hooded eyes, you have to be realistic and that is number one, okay? If you have an eyebrow that's all the way up here and your other eyebrow is down here, there's only so much that you can do with makeup, okay? So you gotta be realistic. Short of like shaving off one of them and drawing it in completely, you know what I mean? Or shaving them off completely and just drawing them in, which is an option. Something that you need to keep in mind is that everybody's features are uneven. It doesn't matter how uneven you think your face is versus somebody else. None of us are perfectly symmetrical. There may be some people out there who have like what we think are perfectly symmetrical faces. It just doesn't exist, okay? Everyone has uneven features. And as we get older, unfortunately, they become more distinct. Something that I've noticed in myself. I feel like the most common ones are uh, eyebrows and lips. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. But these tips will apply to basically any feature. I have a really great tip for you because sometimes it can be really difficult when you're staring at your face or seeing our reflection in a mirror constantly and you kind of get used to seeing your face in that way and then uh, it just becomes like so hard to, it's hard to see with fresh eyes. You're not seeing yourself the way that other people are, right? So my first tip is preferably not to take a photo of yourself using your front camera because there's just so much distortion with your front ca camera and also um, it's mirrored, at least on the iPhone. I think, you can, I think that's a setting you can turn off, but I don't, I don't know how. So what I would suggest is taking a photo with your back camera on your phone uh, or a camera, you know, something that is going to do the least distortion so that you have like a better idea of your actual features. So for instance, I would suggest holding your camera like back pretty far so that there's less distortion and taking a photo just head, just straight on. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna zoom into my face. So this view, when I'm looking at it, is the opposite of what I see when I look in the mirror. And that's what you want. You want to see the opposite. You wanna see your face in reverse because you get used to seeing your face a certain way. Wait, not my right, my left. That's left. <laughs> okay, so now when I see this, um, it becomes very obvious to me that my left eyebrow comes up higher. It's, you can probably see it here, but it's very obvious to me here that my left eyebrow comes up higher than my right eyebrow. My right eyebrow is pretty straight comparatively. Also, my left eyelid slightly lower than my, well, I mean, almost significantly lower. And considering that my left eyebrow comes up higher, I have quite a bit more space in this area. That's the biggest thing I can see. My lips, my the left side of my lip here, the lower side is a little bit fuller. This side, uh, it comes, it's a little bit pointier here, and then it gets thinner this way. Yeah, those are the biggest things that I see. There's also like, my left cheekbone is a little bit larger and uh, this part of my face comes out, it looks like a little bit further, but like, again, be realistic. There's only so much you can do, you know? So let's focus on the things that really bug us. Uh, for me, it's definitely eyebrows and lips. I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm going to go in with some soap first to set them. And I'm gonna try to keep in mind that this eyebrow is lower. So especially like um, at the arch, I'm gonna try to give it more of a lift. Now for my other eyebrow, this area is pretty sparse. And this area comes up pretty high compared to this eyebrow. I'm going to try to even them out as much as possible in each step. So I'm gonna start by brushing this up. I want enough lift here because that area is more sparse than this eyebrow. And then I want to kind of like straighten them out since my arch comes up higher than this brow. 
So already we've kind of lifted this brow up a little bit and we've made this one look ever so slightly more straight. While we're waiting for that to set, I'm looking at this photo and what I can see is that my left eye, this area goes back a little bit further. It looks a little bit more defined, probably because you can see a little bit more of my eyelid. Whereas on this eye, it kind of looks like this part comes down a little bit further, hangs like a little bit more. So when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I wanna keep that in mind. I want to make sure that I'm really defining this, pushing this area back uh, and lifting it ever so slightly. All right, so now that my brow hairs are dry, I'm gonna go in with my brow tint pen by NYX. This is in the shade Taupe, and I'm going to try to even them out as much as possible. So what I'm gonna do is start off by filling them in the areas where they're most sparse. So keeping it a little bit more centered to the brow hairs. I wanna stop and kind of see. So like this one, it's a little more full on the end. This is the eyebrow that I like the most. I like the shape of it the most. So I usually do it first and then try to get as close as possible on the other side. Okay, so basic shape here. Now, see how this arch comes up a little bit higher? So I wanna start a little low to bring this down a little bit. Stopping and looking back and forth is really going to help. If you have to like stop and take a photo in between, like while you're doing it, it really helps to um, give you just that different perspective. So you can kind of see how these hairs are going up. I wanna bring them down a little bit. Okay, so we've straightened this brow out a little bit. I kind of just want to like look back and forth and see this like arch up here is a little more defined on the other brow using a very light hand so I'm not going in with too much. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. They're not perfect, but they look much more even than they did when we first started. I wanna quickly show you how I'm gonna contour my eyes. I'm just gonna use my contour color. This is Wayne Goss, Radiance Boosting Face Palette. I'm just gonna start off with my left eye and I'm gonna go right into the crease. All I'm gonna do is just go right around the crease, kind of define that with this contour color. Super light, just a little something. Now for this side, I wanna add a little bit more. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more product and I'm really gonna focus that up a little higher because this area tends to come down a little bit further. It's almost as if my um, brow bone on this side comes out a little more and kind of pushes that skin. So I wanna cheat that this crease is a little more defined so I'm focusing it a little higher. I'm gonna blend it up a little more. Okay, can you guys see that? All right, and then finally lips. Uh, I'm gonna be using Maybelline Gone Grage. So you obviously wanna to refer to your photo first and keep these things in mind when you first go in. But I think the best way to start is to just by like essentially following your um, lip shape nap naturally. So one thing that I wanna keep in mind is that my lower lip is a little bit more full here. Can you see how that's like a little bit wider? And then when I turn this way, this area gets a little thinner. So it's kind of like going, it's almost as if it's like going in this direction. Do you see that? So I like to make this area look a little fuller and kind of like bring it in a little bit tighter here to even that out. So that's what I'm gonna start off with. And I'm using a color that's like really nice natural contour color. I'm bringing that down a little bit. And then on this side, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Do you see how that kind of evens them out? They both look like a little bit more full now. Now for my upper lip, um, this area on my left side is a little bit more rounded and this is a little bit more pointed. So I like to kind of follow those. I do like to overline. So I kind of like to start off by just Overlining both a little bit and creating a little bit of that like pout. Bring it in a little tighter at the inner. But this lip goes down a lot more. It doesn't quite come down, come out as far. So I like to kind of bring it up a little bit more. Like that, to kind of even that out. 
And now I can kind of refine. I'm just going in with Auric Plush Ritual in Bare. So I'm pretty happy with that. This lip is natural, or this side of my lip is naturally like thicker. And you can still kind of see that, but I feel like they look a lot more even now. All right, guys, so those are my biggest tips, I think, for uneven features and how to balance them. That's really all you're looking for is balance because there's only so much you can do. Something that I really want you guys to keep in mind is that, embrace it, Billie Eilish has pretty uneven eyebrows. Like if you look at any photos of her, she's got fucking great eyebrows. And I mean, I get it, like she's gorgeous, but like her eyebrows are very uneven. It looks sick. Like it looks dope when like her makeup artist does her makeup. They're not really like trying to change any of their of her features. They're embracing it. And I think that that's something that like a lot of us need to do. Now listen, there are like things here and there if it's bothering you, you know, if like, like I have a, like, yeah, my left eye lid is a little bit lazy. That bothers me. Okay. I don't love it. But like when I'm looking at other people, I don't notice those things. So we have to stop being so harsh on ourselves about the things that are like uneven or that we don't think are perfect because like nobody is perfect. We're all thinking these things about ourselves, but not about other people. So please keep that in mind. If you have any specific features or maybe you wanna send me a photo or like, I don't know, a specific problem and you just need like tips, like this is just not doing it for you, let me know. Maybe um, if some of you are comfortable sending photos or something, uh, I could do a video just kind of like responding to everybody. I would be open to that. Uh, I hope this was helpful and let me know what you want to see next. The eyebrows definitely, like, as I get older, getting so uneven. Whatever. Anyway, hope this was helpful. I'm going to go. I got other stuff to do. Bye.